Meteorologist Lauren Casey here now with some advice on this forecast. Absolutely. And the late word from Heather here. Yeah, dry start to the weekend. Tomorrow things go downhill mm. pretty quickly. But getting a live look at Center City, Philadelphia, the Benjamin Franklin Parkway. Yeah, nothing to worry about right now. But most of us will be dealing with a cold rain throughout the day tomorrow. Icy conditions to the north and west. And then a shot at some snow as we head into Monday. But temperatures right now, we are unseasonably cool. Once again today for the month of November, 37 degrees right now in Philly. We're in the 20s to the north and west at the freezing mark in AC, 37 degrees right now in Wildwood. Here is our next weather maker area of low pressure dumping snow on portions of northern Minnesota where 10 inches has already been reported. Blizzard warnings in effect for Duluth and portions of the north shore of Minnesota. Then on the south side of the system where we'll see an additional surface load develop and combine with that particular load dealing with Thunderstorms, some of putting down heavy rainfall, some strong thunderstorm activity across the Tennessee Valley. But for us right now, just seeing the clouds moving in so far. But as we head into the overnight period, could be dealing with a light, patchy, wintry mix developing west of the city, otherwise cloudy with our low temperature down at 33. For the day tomorrow, we will see a wintry mix early in the morning, then transitioning over to an all day rain that will be cold in nature with our high temperature only at 45 degrees. But further north and west from the city, we will deal with a more prolonged freezing rain threat as we head throughout the day tomorrow. And even into tomorrow night, we could see ice accumulations up to a quarter of an inch far northwestern suburbs, so upper Bucks, northwestern Monco, Berks County, the Lehigh Valley, and Poconos with that prolonged freezing rain threat. So some icy travel tomorrow in these areas, whereas we'll deal with some ponding on the roadways closer to the city in South Jersey. As we head into tomorrow afternoon, as I mentioned, mainly rain for most of us, but that icy mix to the far north and west. Monday morning, periods of rain and maybe a rain and snow mix. All snow to the north and west and then Monday afternoon and evening dealing with some snow showers that could yield some accumulating snow. So tracking this wintry weather, the precipitation shield builds in, especially as we head into tomorrow morning, seeing that demarcation line on 85 where it typically is that freezing rain sleet mixed to the north and west and starts to lift more to the north and west as we head into the second half of the morning and then really doesn't budge from the Lehigh Valley and Poconos all throughout the day. Southbound we're dealing with all rain as we head into our Sunday afternoon and evening. A little bit of a lull as we head into tomorrow night, and then we'll be on the back side of the system. See some wraparound moisture coming in, so moisture won't be as uniform, but still a lot of energy, and we could see some rain transitioning over to some snow showers as we head into Monday afternoon and Monday night that could give us some accumulation. So here's how it looks at this point. Remember, a forecast is always evolving. Heavy snow is looking likely in the Poconos towards the Lehigh Valley two to four inches. Again, most of this will occur on Monday. Closer to the city, PA suburbs calling it a coating to maybe two inches at best, especially if we see a couple of convective snow showers or stronger snow showers, which could come as we head into Monday evening and then a spotty coating possible closer to the shore, South Jersey and portions of Delaware on Monday. We quiet things down as that system ejects off to the north and east on Tuesday, but temperatures stay very cold and below average in the long range. So it's looking like yeah cold start to December with temperatures in the 40s and even some 30s all the way in your seventh mm. day. I'll vouch for you. You've been busy all night over there. Oh thanks Joe. Okay, of course. <laughs> Lauren, thank you. Let's